I'm in one of those moods again, where I'm too bored and apathetic to be productive for any decent length of time, but also can't relax because I have this constant feeling of being in a rush, that I should be doing something. Well, when I feel like this, the absolute last thing I want to do is play a Ubisoft style game. You know, the genre where it's half game, half fucking work. So of course I'm gonna review one. Alright, if I'm being honest, the reason I don't enjoy this type of game, usually, is not because of the formula itself but because it just so happens that the story and the combat are uh, <laughs> not great. And when the entire game is a checklist, you kinda need those to carry the whole thing. Now, Mad Max follows the same formula, but by virtue of having <laughs> actually good gameplay, might be the best game in the genre. It's by Avalanche Studios, the same guys behind Just Cause 2, which had its problems, but overall it was pretty good. Back to Mad Max. Destroy the scarecrows, clear the minefields, defeat the convoys and activate the watchtowers, but this time they're balloons. You do all of these activities in an area and you unlock upgrades. Mad Max, you're officially part of the club. Only, uh, wait, hold on a minute. This idea right here of tying the upgrades to the checklist... Hmm, what do you think, viewer? Does this strike you as intelligent game design? We'll get back to it. What I did like is the amount of work that went into the animations, visuals and physics. I mean, sure. From a metagame perspective, snipers are nothing more than a check mark on a list, yes. But that doesn't really bother me, because dealing with them looks like this. Or this. I could make a hundred more examples where the gameplay, on a mechanical level, is this, but on the visual level... I'm okay with this. I like the combat. It has light attacks, heavy attacks, no lock-on, thank god, and it feels pretty nice. It's no fighting game, but it's balanced and fun, which is a lot better than the standard for these types of games. Drink. There's a racing minigame. Racing, son. And I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking you're gonna play it once because it's part of a story mission, and then you'll never touch it again. Super wrong! Who do you think made this game, Rockstar? These are Mad Max races. This guy here isn't fixing your car or checking if it's alright. No, no, no. He's planning a bomb. Wanna defuse it? Better hurry up and finish the race. Just kidding, it still blows up. These races are pure madness. I thought I was winning, then this guy just popped up in front of me. What the fuck? And you can shoot a guy's gas tank. Perfectly legal move. The races are alright. Then you have the actual car fights, and they are, um, hmm, how can I put this? They're kinda... How 
However, halfway through the game, everyone gets multiple layers of armor, so the pacing of the fights changes. They become much more gamey, you know, like with a fixed process to deal with each enemy, rather than random stuff happening. Leading enemies into dangerous terrain doesn't work anymore because they have armor now. Some janky shit like this doesn't work anymore either because they have armor now. This started happening during the Pink Eye area, which coincidentally is also when the environments took a bit of a dip in quality. Going from this to this felt so confusing that I actually double checked if I had selected some kind of launch the game in Unity option by mistake. No, it's just a part of the game that looks terrible. Okay. No need to worry though, because the next area is Gas Town. So the visuals are stunning, the action is delicious. What about the writing? He's a driver of otherworldly skills! Yes, you see! Why would I need a driver of otherworldly skills? Scrap my game! Please! Please, we aim to enter the dead barons! Small disclaimer first, I'm not really into Mad Max, as in the franchise, not the game. When it comes to the post-apocalypse, I'm more of a Fist of the North Star kind of guy. That said, I can recognize the respect that this game had for the source material. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll just give you this tiny example. I found this photograph, it's a collectible. Looks cool. Then on the back, there's something about an inheritance issue between siblings. Alright, interesting. Now let's hear what Max has to say about it. All that water... seems wasteful now. Oh, of course! He ignores everything that caught my attention and focuses on the water. Or however you pronounce that word. Water. Water. Anyways, holy shit that's good writing! The story is great, by the way, from start to finish. If you're into Mad Max, just get this game. He was one such man, one who had lost all, over and over, and to this, he had lost his sanity. Don't step inside here! This boot trip's all over! I can't get out! Alright, now for the big one. Many have complained about the enemies disappearing. You know, they don't respawn after you defeat them, so the game gets emptier and emptier. And yeah, that sucks, but it's not the core problem. Just resetting camps and convoys won't fix anything. We need to go deeper. The main problem with Mad Max is how little access the player has to the two best activities the game has to offer. The vehicle fights and the melee fights. You don't simply decide you're gonna launch the game and get into some fun action sequences. It doesn't work like that. It's the game that drip feeds you the action, a little bit at a time. First of all, if you want to participate in a fight, you need the right upgrades. If you don't have them, I'm not saying it's gonna be difficult, no. You're literally gonna deal zero damage and get one shot immediately. And do you remember how you get the upgrades? By doing the checklist! So here I am, aching for a fight, but the game forces me to hunt down all the scarecrows and snipers one by one. Oh my god, for all the shit I give Ubisoft, they at least let me ignore sad activities for the entire game if I don't like them. Mad Max has no such mercy. What's that, you don't like the minefield minigame? <laughs> Too fucking bad, you stay with the engine that goes... I wasted an entire afternoon on this shit, I get the... Good luck reaching those convoys. And this is only the tip of the iceberg, he gets worse. What could be worse than the checklist content being tied to the upgrades in an extremely gear-dependent game, you ask? Well, the fact that the fights themselves 
are hidden behind so many filler activities. Let's say you have succumbed to the grind and you now have all the necessary upgrades. Even then, actually finding a good fight in this game is like looking for a needle in a haystack. You have to find a camp first, which has its own set of activities. No, oh, no, wait, wait, sorry for the interruption, but <laughs> I have to talk about this. This is a scarecrow. It's one of those things you have to destroy to complete the checklist. But it's fortified, which means it requires upgrades in and of itself. <laughs> Ubisoft, I, I fucking kneel. Anyways, you find the camp, do all the environmental puzzles there, all of which you might not want to do right now, you just want to fight. And maybe there's gonna be a fight that lasts more than 5 seconds. The vehicle fights are more prevalent than melee fights, but also much more gear dependent and once everyone has multiple layers of armor, very repetitive too. This game doesn't need camps that respawn, this game needs one, to untie the upgrades from the checklist. Tie them to some kind of experience system instead. Two, cut all the armor. It doesn't make the fights difficult, it makes them just require the rocket launcher thing. Give me the early game fights where everyone just bounces around and explodes. Those were great. Three, an arena with infinite fights. Four, a stadium with an infinite destruction derby. And there you go, goatee of the year. As it is right now, after this video I'm pretty much ready to uninstall. I love the good parts of this game very much. The visuals, the action and the story are amazing, but they are so out of reach and I don't feel like going through the shitty parts to get to them. Next up, The Witcher Trilogy. I'm going into it blind, so let's hope I don't drop the whole thing at the first game. Or uh, maybe I'll love it? Who knows? I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. The one goes by here, got metal armor plate.